Hi, my name is Nicole Perez and I'm an 8th grade math teacher at West Point Elementary. So as being part of the middle school leadership team, our focus this year was that personalization piece being incorporated into the classroom. So as one of my goals from that committee was to embed personalization, the pace, the learning process. And so coming back, I was able to observe different classrooms and take bits and pieces to make it my own. So the students every month get um, a pacing of a math menu. So there's multiple activities within each of the personalization pieces. Um, and therefore, they are allowed to choose whichever assignment they would like to work on um, just to make sure that they meet the deadline. They can choose any order, they can choose any topic, um, it's, it's up to them. They record their daily work within the calendar and I just make sure that everyone is on task during that time when needed. I pull individual small groups based off of um, assessments that are given through progress monitoring um, within the assignments looking back at uh, benchmarks. So all of my data pieces are what drives my individual instructions once the students are working either independently or collaboratively. I have both um, going on. So if students are working on task cards, sometimes it's independent, sometimes it's collaborative. It was easy for me to incorporate because I was excited about learning the process and I'm excited about learning it, I want to incorporate it as much as I can. So I had to shift my mindset as well to be able to allow that process to happen naturally in my classroom. Um, but it, again, it was easy for me because that was a goal, that was an expectation that I wanted in the first place. I started to incorporate the math menu in October. It was a little rough in the beginning. Um, I took a risk, I did fail a little bit. There were some kids that you know didn't meet the deadline who weren't as aware of the time management, of the respon independent responsibility, um, of using that um, self-discipline. That was um, tough, and there were times where I felt this is, is not going to work. Talking with the students to let them know that this is essential when you get to high school, when you get to college. The expectation is your organization, your time management, so not only am I trying to embed those skills um, for their next education level, I also incorporate a little bit of pieces in the real world. And so I reinforce that with the students that this is not something that you're going to learn just in eighth grade. This is a lifelong skill that will really help you to be successful. And after time, the students have really accepted the idea of getting those deadlines met, um, pacing themselves, really choosing what they need to do first. I now have students choose what they may be, what may be difficult for them. They'll do that first. And then more of what they think would be an easier item to complete, that's more so closer to a deadline, just so that they can be successful. So there are students who you do have to monitor more closely than others. There are students who enjoy working independently and will continue that expectation of the pace. For those students who you have to remind, those are where you set those most definite guidelines. So if you tell them you're gonna work on this piece. They are still getting the exposure to the personalization, but there is more monitored because they can't work independently. I've enjoyed personalization immensely. Um, I'm always growing, I'm always learning. I will tweak, I will reassess, I will reevaluate what's working, what's not working. It's not perfect, um, it's forever changing. It's providing um, advanced opportunities for my students who are now quickly going through my menu because they are understanding the importance. If the kids have finished my math menu, what's next? What can I provide next? Is it an extension? Is it, um, a project-based learning, what, what can I give them um, to extend their learning? I would definitely recommend it. Um, I was hesitant at first, but understanding the pieces and putting it together to what worked for me has made it successful. I cannot take what someone else did in their classroom and do it exactly the same way. It won't work. So taking it piece by piece, I, I've I really enjoy it and I would definitely recommend it um, for teachers 
in the classroom in any grade level.